So the first thing you want to do to get this painting started, this Halloween acrylic painting, is to get a canvas, 11 by 14 or whatever size you want, and paint the whole background red. And to make your moon, all you have to do is get yourself some kind of a round object, which is could be a tin, could be anything that's round, and set it up uh, where you want your moon, and you want to leave lots of room on the sides just so that you can have room for your witch and your house and your cat. And then you take a piece of chalk and make your moon just by getting it the way you want it and then just make, go around your round object, make a nice round moon. Good. Now, There we go. See? Pretty simple. Now a, a filbert brush like this um, synthetic chiseled edge would be good to use because then you can get around the circle. Okay. So what we're going to do, the reason I did the whole background red was because um, it makes it much easier to work around the circle. Now you only have to work around the inside instead of trying to work around the outside and the inside. So it speeds up the process and it works pretty good. So sometimes you do your background, you may need two coats. Um, with the white paint, we'll, this will bring a nice white background to your moon and then we'll put the yellow on after. So we want to get a nice, because the red might come through, we'll just do white first and get all the white on and then we'll put yellow on and that will be a nice basis for your yellow.
So there we go, we have a nice white background for our yellow. So let that dry completely and then we'll put our yellow over it. So next, when that's all dry, you can put your yellow on. So any color yellow that you have there, um, nice and bright. If it's not bright enough, just add a bit of white to it. But uh, you want it nice and yellow. So you can put some white in there just to opaque it a bit too also, right? There we go. And you do the same thing. Put your yellow over your white. You might need two coats depending on how bright you want your yellow. There we go. So yes, put the white in with the yellow. I think would be better. Unless your yellow is opaque already. If you're using two paints, they might be nice and thick and opaque, but uh, I'm adding a bit of white to mine just to keep it a little brighter. Nice and bright. There we go. I may do two coats. Like I say, it depends on how bright you want your moon. There we go. That's coming along. So these chalk marks on the outside, you can take them out with a damp brush when you're ready. So you might want to keep working on the edges there till you get them perfect the way you want them, nice and round. There we go. So take your time. Get the edges nice and round. Good. Now to give it a bit of an eerie look, because it is Halloween, I'm going to mix up a little bit of purple. Now you can have your own purple already pre-mixed, or you can make up some by adding red and blue together to get a nice purple. Nice and dark. A little bit on the red side, so a little bit more red than blue. And I'm just going to take my same brush, I got a filbert synthetic. I'm just going to add a little bit of dark in the corners here. Just touch, I'm just going to touch and pull in. Touch and pull in, touch and pull in, just a little bit. You don't have to do this if you like it the way it is, but just thought I would show it to you anyway. Just a little bit here and there, good. A little bit of darkness up here. It gives a kind of a, an airy feel to it. And shadows. Good. Just go right straight across. And I'm not pushing very hard so, I can, so my red paint will still come through. Just very gently. Get that little bit of an airy look. 
and come down here a little bit just whatever's left over in my brush and if I haven't got enough I'll pick up a bit more and I'll just come in I'm bar barely touching my canvas because I don't want to put big blobs of black on, on it you can also water that paint down if you want to just put on little bits okay so just a little bit here and there see all right kind of brings the moon out a bit better too I think that's enough but you can put out as much as you want just want to make it into a fun painting so when you're happy with that then you can start on adding the different things that you want to put in there so I'll show you a couple of things that I'm going to do and you can also add your own so I'm going to use the handy dandy chalk again and we're going to mark out some things that we want in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tree in here so I rather do it this way first that way if I don't like it I can always take it out I can always wipe it out and restart but you want to make a tree that's kind of squiggly so it looks kind of scary <laughs> and you can bring it over the moon like that see and that way then you'll be able to put in some really nice branches some branches coming down over the tree some branches coming out here and then you'll have little branches coming off the bigger branches you want to leave some room over here for your witch okay good so we'll just make some lines here these are just uh, markers to help you decide where you're going to put your tree and your branches and how many branches you would like to have so we'll put some more up here good so you can have as many as you want good so get as many chisel edge brushes that you have there and uh, so you can try out different ones see what works for you and some liner brushes okay for the smaller branches so just get some pure black paint right from the tube this is one one way you can use pure black paint um, the blacker the better because it's a silhouette and just put some paint on both sides of your brush all right and make sure it's nice and chiseled edge and then because you have those lines there it should be much easier for you to get so standing on your chiseled edge follow that line touch push and go over that line and this will be your tree it's okay you see chalk marks so we'll get rid of those after so as you're coming into the moon lift up a little bit on your chiseled edge to make it even thinner okay might be a little tricky you might have to practice first or whatever you might have to do it so try to do it your best so, so you won't have to because uh, once you go in your moon if you have too much black in there it's hard to, to correct so let's just go here pull up and as you come in pull up make it thin and then up here and make your lines a little squiggly all right so there we go so the chisel edge is doing great as long as you lift up a little bit I have another one here so just touch on the chisel edge and don't push too hard this time because you're into the moon so you want them nice and thin so just barely touch your canvas just be gentle and easy and let those good get a few of those at the bigger branches first that's what you're doing you're getting the bigger branches first and we'll put all those little tiny squiggly ones on all right just as many as you want as long as you leave some room for your witch the fly over the moon or your cow or whatever you want there and a bat whatever you can think of you want to make this a little bigger you can good 
See if there's anywhere else you want it. Just stand your chiseled edge, it should be okay. All right, so these lines here that I'm pulling out are just gonna be for our little tiny ones. Now for the small ones, let's try a liner brush. So you may have to lay your hand down to get the smallest you can, so just pull out some little tiny, see? Very gentle. Good, so little tiny ones coming out. Now if you're having a problem making those little tiny edges there with a brush, you can also, also use um, a marker, a black marker. Okay, so, or a pen, but it'll have to be black. So if you're having a hard time with your brush, don't fret. Just keep making these lines as best you can. I'll show you now with a pen or, or um, let me see, maybe a marker. Let's try with um, a black colored pencil. Let's just see what happens there. So, black colored pencil, yeah, it works great, look at that. So you can get all these little tiny lines. Make them squiggly though. If that's not black enough, we can try. Let's try a marker. Now you get markers with tinier tops than this one. They're more like pens. And these are, let's see, let's see. Yep, they work pretty good. Just don't push too hard, but the top is a little bit thick for what I want to do. But it still works good. So use whatever you think works for you. I find that the uh, color pencil is not quite dark enough. You notice that? See? So you want to get something nice, as, just as black as your paint, which is a nice black marker. Or a black pen. So continue on putting on your little lines. So it's starting to look pretty good. You have, now you have your tree over your moon. And 
I probably would make these lines in here thinner than what they are because I was doing a video I think I pushed a little hard and I don't want to redo everything again it would take hours <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you when you're doing these in here if you could make them even tinier it would be good but they look pretty good they don't have to be exactly the same as uh, as my my painting that I did before so um, continue on putting some little squiggly lines up here squiggle squiggle there we go just keep going back and forth with your squiggles decide where you want them put as many on as you got patience to put on the more you put on the better okay so now we're going to continue on with making some objects that you want in your Halloween. Now you can do whatever you want. You can have a castle or anything you want. So I'm just going to make a little hill here for a little house that I'm going to put over here. I'm just going to make a little hill right here. That's for a cat right here. The house you can draw yourself. Just make a little roof like a letter A. And We'll just make a couple of squiggly lines coming in and out and in and out, okay? And then you can also make a couple of little windows and a little door. So there, so we'll paint that in now. So just get your black paint on a small flat chisel edge brush and paint that in. Now. Like I said, if you want to use black markers to do the some of the black, if you find it hard doing it with a brush, you can certainly use black markers. You know, but if you want it to be an acrylic painting, use paint. Or you can use an acrylic painting marker. This is an acrylic painting marker. I had it showed you in my other another couple of videos I had there on easy uh, quick ways to do a painting and save time. So these are great for you know for lining out small areas but if you want to try it, it makes it so much faster and it, it is acrylic paint so it will act as acrylic paint if you need to blend it or change it in some way. But I do find they're pretty good but I don't think they're as black as as the uh, acrylic paint itself on the tube but you could try it you know and so you can go right over that without worrying about because some people have a hard time working with a brush especially if you can't work with your hands real well there's some people who, who can't work with their hands real well you know so uh, I find my hand shakes also so at times you know small areas trying to keep things but getting around that window would be a help to have a marker see things shape up your house whatever way you want it okay there we go it's a funny little house that's okay Okay, good. So when you get your house done, then you can start on a little piece of ground that we have here and just take a, your chiseled edge brush. I wouldn't do this with the marker. I would do, I'd use the paint on the bigger areas because the marker doesn't... It's a nice marker and everything, but I think it dries a little more flat than the uh, tube paints. So, and it is a little easier won't get too many streaks with your brush. But any small areas you want to use, uh, you want to use your markers or pens, black pens, black, anything black. Okay, I'll just go over there like that. Just a small area just to give it, see those chalk marks, they can come off easily. Just 
to give you some idea. Here we go. Coming along. So now make sure your painting is dry and what you're going to do is you're going to get um, clip art. You can print them off on your computer, go to Google and, and clip and uh, search for Halloween clip art. And this is a nice little bet that I found. I just cut it out. And then I'm going to lay it down where I want it. I'll leave some room for my witch. And I'm going to tape it down. So I'll tape it down so that it stays. And then I'm going to use a bit of carbon paper. I'll just cut out a piece of carbon paper. Okay. And then I'm going to lay it underneath here. And I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to trace it out. Now, you might be able to draw freehand if you're a kind of person who don't want to trace anything and you want to draw freehand, you go right ahead. Um, I want to do this because it's faster for me doing videos. So I'm just going to trace out the outline. And then, when you get that done, all you can do is paint it in black. See how easy it is to do these little, it's almost like little crafts. And you could do these on dishes and wood, fabric, you know. You could do these little, it doesn't have to always be on canvas. It can be on anything that you can paint on. And then you could make your own crafts. All right, let's see. Yep, almost came out. Sometimes it won't go through, so you have to go over it again a couple of times just to make sure. Before you take it off, just lift it up and make sure. All right. Good. Now that you have that drawn out, all you have to do is take a small brush or your marker. I'll let you decide what works for you. And just paint it in. Make sure your brush is nice and small, your marker, so that you can get around, get the shape. Good. Get that in there. Make sure your painting is dry before you move on to each part, because if you're laying your head down, you're going to get paint on you, and you're going to smear, see? And you're going to smear it on your canvas. So, make sure it's dry. But you know now, when you're doing videos, you forget sometimes. Good. All right, let's go in here and up here. And we'll get this little guy or gal drawn in. You might find it a little easier using a marker, but make sure the marker doesn't smear. You know, make sure it's a, a permanent marker or an acrylic paint marker. Okay. Good. Funny looking bad, isn't it? All right. Now, see, so you get that done and then you can move on to something else. So get your clip art off of Google and whatever, you can put ghosts in there, you can put whatever you want. Just get the clip art. That will give you ideas also. It will give you lots of ideas of what to do just by using clip art. So, I can also, I'll get the witch done and we'll do the same thing with the witch. You just get your clip art, put it on there, trace it out, paint it in. Same with your cat. And right now I'm going to do a pumpkin for you. So just take your chalk again. Anything you want to draw, just use your chalk. Just put in a couple of circles, really. You know, uh, let's see, let's see, maybe just a an indication of one there, one here, maybe one here. Good. And you got a stem, some leaves. If you want those. I'll just make a simple one. There we go. I see it better now. So 
I just drew them out with chalk so you can see it may not be all right good so just mix up some yellow and red together and make some orange I don't even have it totally blended I just went in some red and some orange uh, some yellow but you can have orange it's already made pre-made we want that a little brighter than the background so that can be down under the hill there good try to get as bright as I can for you Just get those pumpkins orangey color. I'll just, uh, maybe I'll come over here a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go, round it up a bit. The rest is behind a tree there. And there's another one over here. Now they may need, need a second coat, okay? You work on them as much as you want. And uh, I'll just get you started. There we go. So I'll just get you started and then you can put in whatever you want, all different kinds of clip art out there give you lots of great ideas headstones uh, ghosts uh, bats hanging upside down from the tree great bit of fun you sit down with your kids and come up with ideas with your kids let them pick out the clip art and put it in this in the place so all you need once you get your red background done you can also have a green background your moon will always be yellow or white um, but your background can be green or blue or red uh, whatever color you want as long as it's a little bit dark not a really bright color but um, yeah and then you can sit down with your kids and or yourself and uh, or with, a, with some friends and pick out the clip art and decide where you want everything make up your own Halloween Halloween um, crafts and things it'd be fun so when they dry I'm going to give it a second coat get it more orange okay and then we'll shadow it up while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take my small round brush and I'm just going to put on my the tops here, stem, and your leaves. Now everything is black because, well, except for your... Okay, so... Except for your pumpkins. So I have that in a little bit of a brighter color. But you can have them black or whatever color you want. All right. So, nice little stems here. See, just make your leaves by little rounding them off like that. The edge turn there. Good. All right. Don't know how you can make them scary, but. There we go. Good. Off that same brush, get everything off there and put some yellow, that yellow and white mixture that you made on your brush. And then put it uh, in here for your windows. Good. And up here. Now, like I say, you can do whatever you want. Maybe this little rascal here has a couple of eyes. Touch. Oh, I need more paint. So, a little bit of yellow, and maybe a couple of little eyes. 
There we go. Little cutie. That looks better, see? A few little details. Gives it a nice look. It's coming along. Okay, so I got my carbon paper still and I got some more clip art with cat and which now you can have whatever you want. Like I said, pick pick up whatever you want to put to yourself. I angled the, the witch as if she's going up towards the moon instead of straight across. So that made it uh, and traced it out. See? Just put your carbon paper underneath, like tape it on and then put your carbon paper underneath, use a pen and trace it. And if you're more into freehand, it's pretty simple to draw those. But I, I just want to do a little faster for you so I can get this done for you. So then when you're finished, take them off. And all you got to do now is simple as pie. You can use a marker or your, your paintbrush to paint in these shapes. So all you need is a very small, flat, chiseled edge brush if you have one. What brushes that you've been using. I like the filberts. They get a nice round top and that helps get inside shapes. And then just, just go ahead and fill it in. Good. And since these feet are very narrow, I'm just going to use my black colored pencil to get the nice little feet there. So any areas that are hard to do with a, your, a thin brush, it's okay. Use a black marker or a black colored pencil. See? Then we'll finish off the broom. go. Good. Like I say, if, if you're having a hard time with the brushes, don't let it uh, discourage you. Just use black markers or but you want to be an acrylic painting. So if you got your markers that are um, acrylic paint, then it will be still an acrylic painting. All right, we'll do the cat next. 
okay I'm going to try a small round brush this time so what I'm trying to show you is that you should try different brushes see what works for you okay small round brush is pretty good as long as you can keep up against the lines if you have a hard time staying inside the lines and that's when you need to probably use your marker or a chisel edge brush okay so just do your cat there we go good now if the cat's feet didn't come down to meet this piece of land here all you gotta do is get the land to come up and meet with the feet there we go see simple so not to worry we can make it all fit good see how simple it gets after once you get that background on and you get the moon done once you get that done and you are happy with it then you can add anything you want just using the clip art or freehand like I say you can draw some of this stuff and it's fun to draw your own because you can say look what I did all by myself but for the sake of the video I'm just going to do it as uh, fast as I can for you and you can even change your clip out like I found the ears can be a little bigger on the cat than they were in the clip art so you can make changes These are royalty free clip art that I looked up on Google. You don't want to get into uh, using somebody else's if they don't want you to use it. So just look up royalty free or Pixabay. Anything that's royalty free or copyright free, just want to or make up your own. So just going around the tail good now all I got left to do is I'm gonna put some eyes in the cat and maybe I don't think I need anything on the witch so a little bit of highlighting and finish off the pumpkins and then we're done so it won't take you very long to do something like this so you can do like you can do five or six of them for Halloween Okay, here's the fun part. We'll work on those pumpkins in a minute. But uh, the fun part is to add some white and yellow together on a tiny brush, tiny liner brush, and some white and some yellow. Just mix it together. And what you're going to do is get the glow from the moon. And that will really bring it out nicely. So let's start with the tree. So just on the very edge of the tree, bring up a line start wherever you want and bring up a line right on the very edge of that tree okay now if you can get the line nice and skinny that would be great um, all right so right on the edge go see how that makes it nice and bright looking good get some more and we'll go let's see let's see up around here then try to figure out where the the light is coming from at the moon and, and the tree so that's there and there's probably some underneath here Oops. and here and maybe here so wherever you want them really I'm going to try to brush that brush just a bit it's uh, making my lines a bit thick so you have to move around different brushes if your brush is not working for you you don't have to stick with the same brush I'm going to try this one here see because I'm finding that that other one's giving me my my lines are too thick all right so I want to show you this stuff I don't want to just carry on and, and not show you what what's going on because you might need that help so just get some 
lights going on here on the edges of your branches and that will make it look like they're nice and bright and the glow is there from the moon you can also now the things that are already in the moon no need to do that just leave those but with the cat you also want to maybe put a, an eye, a couple of eyes there if you want there we go see just touch and just do the edge of the cat's tail because that's where the moon is shining on the tail right and on the back maybe there's some up here on the back all right maybe there's a little bit on the ears and the head all right see I don't think there'll be anything here I might be maybe it's coming through it's shiny on the back of this leg I'm not sure but use your imagination decide where you think that moon glow is, is on what parts of each thing that you're doing so I'm not sure but it might be you know it's going to be on the edge of these leaves and this one and this one and this one so that really brings it out nice and also on the edge of probably the edge of this little arm here a little wing here and maybe on a little bit on the edge of the broom here so you just use your imagination and see where you think it might be and now we definitely want some on the edge of the house so just take the edge of the house so i know you have your chalk lines there but you can wipe them off all right so where your chalk lines were you just put your paint because chalk lines will wear off anyway eventually you don't want that to happen if, if you're using the chalk for highlights that's no good so i'll put paint on there Good. and you got your windows in here and you got your lighting there and also there might be a bit of a light on top of this little hill so there we go so just get a, an orangey colors here for your pumpkin and then you just need a little bit of shadow to go on those to make them look more so you just put a little bit of dark shadow by using a purple a deep purple and uh, shadow here between these two so it separates them just putting some shadows in good and trying to make this one look like it's overlapping right here so i'll put a little shadow there just by making a bit of purplish color just to make it look like that's separated right here and a few little maybe i'll use black just to get some start in the middle pull out pull out pull out just so you have some tops touch pull out pull out pull out pull out and make a little bit of a shadow here and here and whatever else you want to do with that and then you're going to put a little bit of a highlight on the edge of this one over here and that's it I can't think of anything else there's lots more you can do whatever you want to do with it so I'll just I think I think that's kind of nice so you can do whatever you want with your 
Halloween painting, put more uh, bats in there, some ghosts, whatever you want. And you can have a cute little painting for Halloween. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then... So if you enjoyed this video, you can give me a thumbs up or you can ask me any questions um, about this painting. You can uh, also share share my videos. That would be a big help. And that's a cute little painting for Halloween now, see? So don't forget... There we go. All kinds of things going on there. And there's a lot more things can go on and you can make up different ones and add different bits of clip art. So that's cute. So you have a happy Halloween everybody and have fun and enjoy your, uh, your day and your painting day. And I'm going to sign out from Alison Pryor. See you in the next video.